I have warm memories of my walks in nature as a child, searching for butterflies, caterpillars, ants and frogs. Walking barefoot on wet soil and chasing fireflies at night. At the same time, I have had a camera in my hands for as long as I can remember. I learned to see the world through my lenses and to glide along magical paths, discovering a new and splendid planet every single day. Many of the places I have visited seem to come out of a fantasy world and it's hard to believe that reality surpasses imagination. I have covered vast regions in rusty canoes, mules, horses, cargo planes, single-engine planes, mototaxis, motorcycles, and rustic wooden carts running on railroad tracks. But mainly, I have walked. Now, I need to stroll slowly because of the heavy cameras and the long years that have widened my hair, which makes my observation work easier. I can only appreciate the world around me when I'm not in a hurry. In the dark of night, I patiently wait for the first light on the horizon and look for sunrises on the peaks of the highest mountains, where the clouds rest during the night and only wake up with the timid rays of dawn. The birds begin to wake up and the sun shines through water drops trapped in plants and spider webs. I follow the butterflies with shimmering wings and legions of tiny ants carrying leaves and flowers in endless columns. The desert, with dunes and colored sand, seemed to only house cacti and thorny bushes, but while walking carefully, I find fantastic creatures. They are challenging to see because the harsh environment has taught them to be cautious, but their beautiful colors are extraordinary. The rainforest is an immeasurable world. Its biodiversity allows me to explore without limits. And I find something new and surprising at every step I take. 
I love walking on trails covered with flowers, vines, giant ferns, and the tallest trees that get lost in the canopy. Water creates a world where rain, streams, waterfalls, and rivers support unique species. I love to see the seeds of the massive trees of the jungle when they are just beginning to sprout. Making their way through the thicket, looking for light in the forest. The tiny drops of water persistently slide among the ferns and mosses. In this semi-aquatic world, the little animals hide in the foliage. Glass frogs nurse their eggs on the underside leaves. And the tadpoles will drop directly into the stream to continue their transformation. It is difficult to imagine more beautiful rivers than those that dress in rainbow colors during the rainy season in the mountains east of the Andes. Its rocky bottom is covered with red, pink, yellow, and white algae that dance among the crystal clear waters with the sunlight. this moist world and their variety of colors and shapes seems endless. They are little jewels hidden in the ground and the fallen trunks of the forest floor that will later nourish the land. The jungle carefully hides tiny orchids, just a few millimeters long. large clusters tangled in bushes or go by clinging to rock crevices.
I never imagined such a variety of bromeliads. Some are very small and difficult to find, while others are so large that they can measure several feet. They grow on branches with lichens interwind with other plants of stunning colors and shapes, forming aerial gardens. I found white streams where the water runs like whipped cream over a sulfur bed. It springs from the ground then slides between the dark volcanic rocks and the soft cushions of moss of different shades of green, yellow, red and magenta. I found some palms so tall that they get lost in the clouds. Others walk because their roots resemble long tentacles that allow them to move in search of sunlight. I was surprised to find a rainbow floating in the steam of a waterfall in the cloud forest. I climbed the paramos between 9,000 and 12,000 feet above sea level. These ecosystems are restricted to the tropical Andes, whose vegetation is unique on the planet, and it shelters itself by covering the leaves and flowers with tiny hairs. They get protection from cold and frost and allow them to trap water from the clouds. Hail and ice storms are common and the wind is so strong that it's difficult to keep steady. At 
night, far from the cities, I see the full moon shining on the sea or mountains. While I enjoy the fantastic sounds of night birds and tiny frogs croaking loudly. Attracted by the light of my flashlight, the moths arrive with their intense colors and strange shapes. The sky fills with stars on dark nights, and the Milky Way unfolds over the Andean forests. In this incredible path, my permanent companions have been the birds. They are the common thread that unites the different regions and countries. They cross borders and connect us with their trills and colors. They have taught me to wait for them patiently, and I value those intimate moments that they give me when they are the ones who approach me. The camera allows me to watch them silently without interfering with their routines. I like to observe them as they search for their food among the mud and dry leaves when they catch invisible insects and return to their perch in a beautiful and unpredictable dance. Some of the smallest ones look for seeds in the flowers or spikes. Others prefer to eat delicate flowers, feed on their nectar and migrate after flowering. Hummingbirds are the most active and territorial birds, defending their flowers and even fighting fiercely for the entire tree to protect it. They flap their wings so fast that only the high-speed camera can stop their movements and show us their stretched wings and beautiful open tails. When they rest, they change the colors of their iridescent feathers in a brilliant display of color. I love looking for them very early, when the sun is just rising and they lazily open their eyes. They seem to ensure everything is all right before hiding their heads under their wing again. Their diversity is immense and outstanding, and while they fly around me on my way, my life has been filled with songs, flutters, squawks, calls, trills, whistles, and hammering. And I keep walking among birds. <laughs>